Hi guys, welcome to Sea Life Melbourne. My name's Olivia and today we'll be continuing on our exciting adventure into habitats. Now we're in one of the biggest tanks down here at Sea Life Melbourne, 2.2 million litres of salt water. Now this water is around about 24 degrees and the animals in here you would find typically along the east coast of Australia. Some of them are quite big. This is a Mitchell, he's a grey nurse shark. He's about 3.2 metres long. And here's one of our smooth rays. It's about three and a half metres wide. One of the things that's important to think about when replicating a habitat is the size the animals are going to grow to. There's obviously some animals that live in the ocean that are not going to fit in this tank, even though it's very big. And some of those things would be things like whales, manta rays, maybe even a giant squid. This type of habitat is a rocky reef. So the animals you'll find in here, you would find in shallow waters along the coastline. One of the things we've done to replicate that sort of environment is add lots of rock work. So you can see over here, lots of different nooks and crannies for the animals to sleep in. And in the wild, this might be replicated by something like a shipwreck, one of my favorite habitats. Here in the aquarium, we need to make sure that everybody has a spot uh, that they feel safe, some kind of shelter. So if we head around this way into the big part of the main ocean area, we'll be able to see some of the other things we've added to this exhibit to make the animals feel at home. We can see here, this is a rocky reef and also a nice sand flat, which is a great place for something like our beautiful sawfish to have a little rest. It's important to have resting places for all of these animals at night time because they do actually lie down on the sand and have a big old sleep. Some of our animals need to sleep while they still swim. So poor Mitchell up here, even on his birthday, even when it's Christmas, he still has to keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Now building a habitat like this, we needed also to think about not only how warm or cold the water was, but also how deep it was. Some animals that live in the ocean only live in deep waters. And we think of something like the viper fish or the blobfish. It's actually almost impossible to replicate those deep water habitats. So these animals will typically be found in waters less than 50 metres deep. Here at the aquarium, it's around about four metres deep in this exhibit. Some of the animals in here find their own little spaces to sleep, but some of them stay in groups or schools. And you've already seen a school of fish swimming past earlier. There goes a big school of golden trevally. Some of the other things we've added to this exhibit for habitat are some of the seaweeds we can see over here on the left and also some more rocks just down here on the sides. One of my favourite sharks, Leo the leopard shark, is just sitting here at the base of our beautiful mermaid. Now some sharks, as I mentioned, do need to keep swimming all the time like Mitchell and it's, make, it's important to make sure there's enough room for them to swim around at night time also important to make sure we have ways to feed these animals. So a lot of these animals get fed from the surface by our keepers and we also throw in quite a lot of shellfish and small pieces of fish for these animals to eat. Now if you're in grade two and you're learning about habitats you might like to learn a little bit more about rocky reefs. You can have a look on our website or indeed on our virtual aquarium. Have a look there and you'll find some pretty interesting information about habitats and specifically rocky reefs. Join us next time to learn a little bit more about coral environments. But for now, I think we're going to say goodbye. Bye guys.